Crisscross Corner. We're going to do another tier list here on this Christmas week. We're going to do a tier list for the other culture, aka <coughs> white people. Um, this is the white people tier list. Uh, rock bands. We're going to be ranking rock bands on the God tier. I mean, the tier list. We have God tier. We have amazing, good, average, I, and then trash. So we have the great debaters here with us from our earlier episode. We have Chris Bird, Mark Simpson, Basil Lowe, and David Norday. I'm your host, Chris Canty. And let's start the tier list. All right, y'all, y'all can unmute. So I already have Judas, I have Judas Priest in I because I never listened to him. Wait, so. why you got I in a white category? What, what is this, man? We we have to incorporate some black people stuff in here too. Right. I'm, I'm about I'm about to see and see here's the thing. See, like all these all these groups right here, all right, all these groups right here are all groups that at one point in time made amazing amazing music. Black, white, etc. It's just amazing music. But Judas Priest, I yeah, I'll put them there. I mean, all right, our, our, they have some good songs, but that's about it. All right, our first uh, thing right here, you can't really see it here, but it's Queen. Yeah, God I was. Oh, I, I had a feeling I was on Queen. God tier. God tier. God tier. Queen is going in God tier because it's they just don't know how to mess up. Yeah. <laughs> Low Especially key. with Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Low key. Uh, yeah, every, every hey, David. Low key. We need to do uh, do that game one more time. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, I'm looking at my cards over here. I'm you looking know, at my cards. I was laughing about that too. I was like, you know, <laughs> my people don't know any Led Zeppelin songs after those five. And you said, oh, you guys are doing good. Exactly. And, and I'm looking like, hold up, something's up here. I don't think I know any. Mark name no songs nobody knows from Led Zeppelin. I'm like, exactly. and the you Mark know, is crazy. like more than Led Zeppelin. Well, <laughs> oh, I mean. Yeah, Mark Ray's credit when I put when I put um no, when he saw the Grateful Dead card. He he was like, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> I was up too. I gave up for him. I was like, I don't know, no Grateful Dead songs. I just walked off. I said, fuck this. Cause Chris, you gave, <laughs> you gave Chris Earth Wind of Fire. I was like, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He hey, gave hey, him hey, the elements. Hey, because Mark, Mark, if you were Mark, if you were to say, here's the thing. Marcel messed up not just the Bee Gees, but Eminem. I was there. Well, that's to rejog your memory, then. <laughs> Speaking of jogging our memories, uh, we have Nirvana next. They are good. I would say they're good, too. Right? I'm putting them in amazing. Wait, uh, why is Basil not leading this discussion? I'm, I'm putting them in amazing. <laughs> I get kids. it. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, oh, baby. I, actually, believe it or not, this, and this is going to be real controversial uh, for anyone that uh, watches this. I, I swear to God, if you say you was born black, I'm fighting you. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I used well, to yes, be black. But no, that's not Stop what I was going to say. But I lost no. my car. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> my hair caught on fire. Next thing you know, I came up. No. Um, I find Nirvana to be overrated. Good, but overrated. They are very overrated. Like Beyonce. Yes. And the Beatles. And yes. Drake. No, I'm just playing. Yes. Drake's not overrated. Yes, he is. He's right where he needs to be. Mm. Anyways. That's another topic for another day because yeah. I have stats and facts that will kill everybody. Yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, we gonna, Please. We, we, we got to talk about that next. All right. We got to person kills that one. Allison yes, Chains. We are. Allison um, Chains. I have, first, I have never heard who? of this group until Allison I watched the Watch Mojo video. Allison Chains, I will put them. I want to say good or Don't, average. The Jar of Flies album by itself. Never heard of them. I've, I've that, never heard I'll of them. I'll put it in. Chris knows these groups by the albums. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I actually like music. Thank you. This First, he was, he's a music historian. I'm, I'm convinced. Now, <laughs> now, I'm convinced. Now, 
Chris, how familiar are you with Allison James? Because you said uh, Jar of Flies, so... Jerry Cantrell is one of the top five reasons why I play guitar. Okay. Personally, I prefer the Dirt album, but... That's up to it, but I'll take it. I'll put them... I'll put them in good. Uh, I'll put them in good. I would say no lower than average. Average looks lonely, so I'll put it in average. Yeah. Uh, okay. To me, to too me you gotta have some good music. I not, I had never heard of Alice in Chains until I watched Mojo video back in 2012. I was gonna and, say, you and, you, and you didn't call me? No, because we didn't know each other in 2012. Next, the Killers oh, right. are I, good. I, they're good. They're good. They're good. I, I don't know who that is. Low key, Mr. Brightside. This is controversial. Are you gonna put them in God tier or trap? Out of the last twenty years of rock music, the Killers have sustained the past the test of time. No, no, no. Just like, just like, just like the Food Fighters have. No, 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 no. Don't, don't even put them in the same category as the Food Fighters. The Killers at least keep themselves relevant. Food Fighters, on the other hand, yeah, the continue to do great stuff. Yeah, Food Fighters fell off, but then they came back and did some good stuff. Fell off again, did some great stuff. Fell off. Um, uh, let's see. I see Errol Smith in there. That would that would fit that description, but yeah. See, that's just, that's what it is. The Killers are a younger version of Aerosmith. Yeah. Yeah. All right, REM. Mm. Losing my religion. Yeah. Losing my religion. Orange Crush. Orange uh, Crush. The, oh, your one of your favorite, the one I love. Yeah, no, Every- my favorite my favorite is Shiny Happy People. Oh, nice. Shiny Happy People. I would say I'll put them in good. I say average. I say average, average too. I've been I've been right on every single last one. <laughs> Mark, Mark is Mark like, like I've been right. <laughs> now AC DC. AC DC amazing. AC DC. Yes. I'm gonna put them in average. Uh, no, I'm gonna say amazing because here's the thing: they're great for like summertime driving and drinking. I'm not gonna lie to you. Anytime I'm doing something and I gotta go hardcore with it, I'm putting on ACDC. Oh wait, 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 Mark, wait. 15 seconds. Name three ACDC songs. Oh, I can't do that. Oh yeah, my brain, you can. my yes, brain you can. don't work that way. I, we played this game. My brain don't work that way. We not. He's, g- he's right, giving right, you fifty right. seconds. Okay. All right, I'm putting him at average. That's my vote. I say, I say, amazing. The the yeah. fact that just one song alone has a whole drinking game. That's true. Just, just shows how how influential they are for the culture, for the other culture. Exactly for the other culture. Now this one on the other hand. Fleetwood Mac, God tier. Fleetwood Mac. Who's that? Fleetwood Mac. One of the best groups of all time. I, I, yeah, I I can't, I can't debate this. Any type of music, not just rock. Any type of music is one of the best groups of all time. Somebody really thought. I don't even know who that is. Somebody said my girl. They thought I don't. I don't. Yes, you do. You're so good. Gypsy, going your own way. Dreams, rumors, rumors. What? Just the rumors albums alone. The rumors album is one of the top five albums. Uh, of all time. It is. I, don't, I it? still don't know who that Rhiannon? is. Rhiannon. Hey, 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 David. Hey, this is this is oh, teaching my laptop you. Okay? We're helping you. Oh shit! My grade quit again. No, his, no, his laptop died. Oh, okay. Thanks for Minnesota. All right, my chemical romance. Yeah, hey, I, I don't know. I don't know who that I, is. I, 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 I'm I don't, not a fan. I can't even tell you a song by that, to be honest with you. Jay yeah, can. Uh, Black Parade, Teenagers. Uh, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not okay. Uh, I cannot tell you a song. I can't that. tell. I can't name any. Man. What do you think, Basil? They have good songs, and don't get Basil me wrong. When, when I heard that they were going to do a whole reunion tour, I was one of those that were super excited, just like any other white per- like white person that went to school in the 2000s. <laughs> How, however, now that that time has kind of gone away now and looking back, I'm going to say bottom of good or top of average. 
Essentially, they're the type of music you'd listen to during that whole emo time when Hot Topic was a place actually worth stepping into. Loki. All right, what we got? It's still, right, is, that, that, it's still is worth walking into. Just don't. Just don't I, is it though? I let I right, let's have, let's just put them in God tier. Let's just move on. Uh, I'd say I'm amazing. God tier, I say they're amazing. I I put I put them in God tier. Bottom of amazing, top of good. I say bottom of amazing. Yeah, I put them in there with ACDC. God tier. Uh, I can't I can't listen to Led Zeppelin all day. Yeah, shit, shit, I'm putting them up there. But that's just me. You can listen to Queen and Fleetwood Mac all day. You can listen. Oh, to- you can do I that. Can, you can do I can li- days. I, I will listen to Queen more than I'll listen to Fleetwood Mac for sure. All right, raging is now. Raging is machine. I would say good. They, no, it's top of good. I put top of good. I yeah. Well, yeah. Because and yeah. I don't know. I I, I want to say that they're awesome, like top tier, but that's only because I'm kind of for that whole revolutionary mindset that they were all for back in the nineties. Guess about that today. What you mean? Mm-hmm. All right, strokes. I don't mm. even know by the strokes. I'm trying to think of a stroke song you might know. What's one of the mainstream hits? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, uh, Reptilia. Or Last Night. Nope. Nope. But <laughs> the only the reason why I know no, no, about that. The, the only reason why I know Reptilia is because that was on Guitar Hero Three. Yeah, that, that was yeah, and that's the Strokes. But oh, I, never, uh, I never heard them. I say I. I say I because I, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't want to say trash, but I doubt anything on here is going to be trash. But all right, Pearl Jam. I Wait, don't know who that is. That's, yeah, 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 yes, you do, David. That's going to be amazing. This is who I feel like they're I'll amazing. Say, they're better than Nirvana. Yeah. Now, see yeah, how right. everyone goes all about Nirvana. This is who people should be talking about for grunge That's music. The That's the group for grunge music. Nirvana's trash. Per- that or per- Soundgarden. Well, personally, for me, out of all four of them, I my personal preference is Soundgarden. Personally, mm-hmm. who is that? Black Hole Sun. Da- 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 David. David. Hey, you're learning. Okay. Out. Hey. I would say help. the same thing too about Soundgarden because I know who they are, but I just don't care about them. Uh, moving on. David, uh, take some the notes. Who. The Who. I don't want to. The Who. The Who got some hits. The oh. Who got hits. The Who got hits. In my opinion, they're better than the Beatles. They're who I Ooh. believe. I would say they're they're the proper British invasion. Ooh. Like the Beatles oh, were like that first force that went in. They were that first wave. Hey Chris. Hey Chris. This listen was to the one person. Army. Learn something for once. <laughs> Go ahead, Basil. <laughs> The, the Beatles, I feel like, were a good, like, entry force coming in with right. a true British invasion. The true British music army was uh-huh. the who. Okay, I like it. So where would you put it? Hmm. I'm going to say God's here. Oh, Just be- no, no, no. Uh, no, you- no, 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 I would say bottom of God's here, but the reason why is because you still have, a, so you still have the who touring to this day. That is true. I'll say bottom up amazing. I'll say that. Bottom? Nigga, what? No. That, hey, that, top of top of amazing if you're gonna put in the amazing cat. I think I think they're way better than ACDC because a lot of ACDC's music oh, is, yeah. is not rememberable. I mean, uh, and the A C D C one of their inspirations was the Peter who. Townsend and the Who. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, I mean, like they got countless hits. I mean, if anybody who watched NCIS, you already know. Who? Exactly. That's who we're talking about. Yeah. Exactly. Who? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, that's, a, that's a good segue, Chris. That's a good <laughs> Speaking that's of good. who, um, I only know like three songs from Oasis. So. Oh, no. Trash. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, know who that is. It might... <laughs> David, you know who they are, man. Okay. I Wonderwall. I, I'm, I'm not. What is that? You've never <laughs> heard of the song Wonderwall? No. That's a classic. The one... hit. 
that's 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 essentially like the number one song that douchebags that learn how to play acoustic guitar will always yeah. play. Yeah, it's gonna be the day that they're hey. gonna throw it back it's, to you. It's of the songs. No, but that's the number one. They're that's like, the number one song. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah. I don't know how to play guitar. Well, I do. Also, like I said, you shouldn't move Oasis to trash. That's that's my opinion. I feel like I'm that's in the trash. No, I that they, got song made, they got some good hits. They got some hits. Just like right. you two. You two is you two, let, you two let you put him in God tier. Well, I'm gonna put no, him in God tier. No, I'm not putting God tier. They're him in. not that good. Yeah, they are what you talking. Even no, though they try no, to no, get no, us free music, they trying to download their own music on my phone. I did See, not appreciate that. Oh, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> Loki, they did. They did. Yeah. <laughs> took away, took up so much space on my phone. Like, when did I download this? I would actually just <laughs> overall, wait, wait. overall, I would say they're average. Wait, David, yeah. you should be on shuffle one day. You'd be like, that was a hit. And then, uh, all of a sudden, yeah. Shuffle, I was like, what the hell? Loki, I wonder how that would go if somebody tried to do that today. If Meg the Stallion put her album on my well, they can't. Album, I would leave. I'm, I'm deleting it ASAP. But Chris, no, no one could do it because YouTube ruined that for everyone. No, but what if they didn't do that and they, they, anybody could do oh, that? Oh, like if someone... Uh, like if somebody tried to do that like today. I could see that being a Dr. Dre song. True. Like, Actually, like, not like, with the current... Uh, what people are doing right now, it would be perfect for now. Yeah. Because you do it anyway. You already... Now, I would say move you two down to average, just because. You two is not average. What are you talking? No, no. no. Here, here's my here's my reasoning. Overall, from the of their whole disc uh, discography, there's a big one. The first half of it was amazing. However, after Vertigo and all that, they've released a trash. Um, Listen, have you not played How to Dismantle um in the, um How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb? Vertigo was on that album. What are you talking about, Chris? Um, no, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, talk, I'm talking about after that oh. album, everything they've done since then has been trash. No, it has not. Listen, I, mean, wait, I only wait, heard wait. them when they was on the Kendrick Lamar song. That's that's the only you know, what? I know who they are. She's not a Okay, Weezer. <laughs> Weezer Amazing. is, and hey, you're not gonna like this. They are right. Wait, they're I no, they're easy. What you talking about? Oh no, hold on. Chris. I, I think I Christopher, Perfect. explain yourself. All right, here's the thing. Weezer, do they have catchy songs? Absolutely. Beverly but, Hills. Yeah, but it's like where I want to you know, when, when I've I never heard that song. Yes, you have, David. I'm Radio kidding. Disney, what you talking? Damn, what? Like, I don't listen to Radio Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I never, you listen to I never, a radio I at all? No. I you stopped live? It. You live, I stopped David? it. I see, had stopped listening see, to the radio. When I when I think about Weezer, see, like, personally, I think about 90s teenagers or, like, you know, the 90s adolescents or what have you. Something you can't relate to. Next. All right. Radiohead. Oh, no. I want to, I want to hear it, though. All right. Go Thank ahead. Thank you so much. I'm listening. curious. Thank you. Weezer... All this shit is pretty much simple. And all that, but it's like the same repetitive stuff day in, day out. And it's like, their voice is just annoying. It sounds like a cat going through a fucking lawnmower, in my opinion. I can't stand it. But it do got catchy song. Don't, do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong on that. But will I sit down and say, hey, I'm going to listen to this Weezer album? No. You, you have so many good hey. albums, though. Yep. Huh? You, have, you have their debut blue album, the album you're talking about, the green album with Beverly Hills earlier, which I didn't think Beverly Hills was that good of a song. However, Pork and Beans was a much better song. Then you also have the red album that came out. Uh, I know, I had a red album. Yeah, not too long ago. Um, well, at least, I, at least I like the Power Rangers. Moving on. Yeah. Radiohead. Mm. Radiohead, okay. Okay, computer. Okay, computer, is a classic. But under Creep. that, but under that, they died. Yeah. ND Darlings. I never heard them. Eagles. Eagles. Mm. They have the number one album of all time. Eagles. Which is still some BS, but it, they do. The greatest album. It passed Thriller. Yep. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, like so their greatest hits album is the number one selling album all time. Like that, like dead serious. I don't know who that is. Eagles, what are you talking? Hotel California. Who? Anyway. What is that? I love this. David don't know nothing. Mike, David, 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 David is getting exposed. My God. <laughs> How am I getting exposed? Not everybody knows rock music, Chris. Get over yourself. Man. Jeez. I'm just saying. No, a hey, little look, bit. Hey, hey, look, I'm black. I've heard you a well rounded person. Okay. Only people don't know huh? stuff. Wait, what? Understand that people don't know a lot of stuff. Well, how about they get the ass in a in a bloody book and stuff and then actually learn it? Learn the freaking history. Maybe because they don't about want to. We have a right not to. Yeah, they fine. They have a right to not do that and listen to Major Sign all day long. That's their choice. Well, they yeah. have every right to call them but, dipshits then too. But, but but listen, I don't listen to Megan Thee Stallion either. So that that your case is invalid. Right. <laughs> Eagles, Eagles are going in. I say hey, it's, hey, it's whatever, blood. It's whatever. It's all love. I say good. Hey. Now I. I said they're good because they have the best album of all time. They That's have some songs I did not thriller? know they made. Don't get me wrong, they have some good songs, but all right, Basil. <laughs> Why are they top best-selling album? That makes no sense. There's a lot of things in this life that don't make sense. I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna put these songs out here. You got Hotel California, Go obviously. Um, Lion yeah. Eyes, I don't know that song. which I, I think is better song. than Hotel California. New Kid in Town, don't know that song. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, take it to uh, the Life limit. in the Fast Lane. Life take it the to the lane. Limit. Life in the Fast Lane. Witchy Life Woman. In the fast Desperado. Heart, oh, Tequila heartache, Sunrise. Heartache tonight. That's gonna be a heartache tonight. Heartache tonight. tonight. Yeah, I never heard you that got, song. And you got, and you got tequila sound. They play that. They play that at Jimmy John's a lot when I work there. They I play that know. at O'Malley's every time when I walk in there. All right, what is Avenged Sevenfold? The only time I heard Avenged Sevenfold was WrestleMania 32. So they're going in high. Oh, that's what that. That's what was the. Yes. That was just, uh, uh, yes. 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 Well, I think their oldest hit that like you hear a lot of people talk about is Bat Country, and that's from like 05, 06. That's a crazy thing. I don't know that song. I was a nigga in Detroit, so I don't know what Avenged Sevenfold is. Well, I, well, I was a nigga in Detroit, and I knew about it. So, but they go. Uh, I was gonna say, you guys uh, had eighty nine X. Hey, hey, look, hey, look folks used to bully me in school because uh, I actually had fucking. It. Hey, look, folks used to bully me in school because I actually liked Jimi Hendrix and other rock music back then. So, hey, no. Which makes no sense because. Ball pie to him. Some folks don't understand. Pink Floyd. Amazing. You know, first of all, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Christopher l- l- grew up on Finkel. <laughs> so, <laughs> rock music wasn't really popular on Finkel. Nah. Well, it was, well, get, well, guess what? I liked it. You liked it. I understand that. Hell, I understand. Hendrix, I also understand why you got beat up for it. <laughs> I didn't get beat up for it. I got fucking bullied for it. Okay, let's get it right now. Okay. What is the difference, though? What's the me? difference, though? To me, it don't that's... matter because, hey, look, here's the thing. People are going to have this opinion regardless of whatever case may happen. Wait, wait, okay? Chris, 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 you're still black and blue, so it doesn't matter. Well, you know what? People, wait, how is he blue? blue? His we, know, <laughs> we know people had his opinions regardless, so whatever. Hell, if it wasn't for Chuck Berry and Jimmy Hendrix, how would these damn bands wouldn't even exist in the first mother effing place? Yes, they would. Anyways, Pay Floyd goes into amazing for me. I don't know about amazing. I want to say amazing. They're not as they're not. good. They are all right. This I'm playing one, amazing. This is one of the best overhyped groups of all time. Because I don't see with it. one of with one of the best overall albums of all time. I was I but do, Dark Side of the Moon. You can say Dark Side of the Moon. Hell, you can say The Wall. Hell, man, if we're going just in the tier, like just in, in hits alone, you got <clears throat> excuse me, another break in the wall, comfortably numb. My personal favorite. Uh. <clears throat> I'm hella I'm confused with Chris, what's going overrated. on right now. They're, they're good albums, Chris. They're good albums. <laughs> but I, I'm not even trolling. I don't know what's going on right now. Listen, listen, to, listen to the other culture, Chris. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, Basil. Go ahead, Basil. Okay. Well, that, hey, hey, hey. I, I'm not saying too, bro. I know Basil has. No, no, no. Yeah, I say, and I want to hear. I, I want to hear your impression, yeah. Chris, because finally I got someone I could talk to on rock music, and I know that we're going to have slightly different tastes. Um, that's why, just in my opinion, I I personally find Pink Floyd not to be as big as other people would try to make it sound like. Because I mean, if someone said, "Do I want to listen to ACDC or Pink Floyd?" which performed it around the same time period, I'd rather listen to ACDC. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe I prefer the Aussies over the Brits. I don't know. I guess so. I don't know. Oh, well. Hey, whatever you like, play. Right, now what's... the Clash. The Clash. Hmm. I don't know who that is. I'm, I'm Rock the cash box. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have David. I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, hey, I ain't. Hey, at least I ain't trying to stunt and act like I know who they are. <laughs> you know, I'm so stunting. We know who these people are. I, I don't. You. I don't. <laughs> I, this Dude, is not a to, troll, ladies and gentlemen. I am confused. You need to get out of your basement then, is what we're hearing. Out of my basement? I do get out of my basement. And out, out of the house. The get room. out of the house. Yeah, I do get out. Yeah, the to house. the living room. <laughs> I call. It, I, I, I tell the clash is an average. I live in Detroit, fam. <laughs> I think that. I think that's so. Different. You get uh, a lot of yeah. You get a lot of people that are into punk rock in Detroit. That the clash would be. A not where I'm at. Big. Not not in the areas I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> you're, talking about, you're talking about. You're talking about back in the day, Detroit. Not now. Right. The MC5 so you live in University Park. I bet I could still find people that would know who the Clash are in University Park. You, you talking about in Ferndale and Royal Oak and <laughs> you talking true. about that area. You, you're not talking about this area. Trust me. True. All right, what is this? That is... Wait, that... Wait, I, hmm. I feel like I know this. I don't know who this is. But it's not... Uh, is it? Is that Fall Out Boy? I think it is Fall Out Boy. Yeah, I believe it is supposed to be Fall Out Boy. I think it is. Yeah. Oh, sure. I know find, who that find, is. Find a logo. Find a logo. I think it is. Find a logo. I know who that is. That wasn't supposed to be their logo, though. I didn't know that was. I didn't know they had a logo. I knew they had a logo, but I don't think that's supposed to be their logo. Did you not watch School of Rock, Chris? That'd be bad as a logo. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I do love School of Rock, man. I'll watch that Sunday. Oh! They have changed their logo. Okay, because it oh, used to just good. be like, it used to be in just block letters, full out boy. That is supposed to be their new logo now. Oh, Yo, hey, hey, I'm, I'm not. I'm I not know who that is. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. School of Rock was when I was I was I really first liked the, um, ACDC when they did um, it's a long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll and shit, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Hey. Mm. I ain't gonna oh, lie. Boy. Y'all don't listen. All the hits they made. They're good to me. I would say they're good. They're good to me. Bottom of good or top of average? Because they're kind of in that same boat, in my opinion, as My Chemical Romance. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I, I, I'm putting them in that same. I'm putting them in that oh, same. Oh boy, it transcends uh, races. <laughs> Obviously, <That's>... David knows them. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, David. I know. I mean, David's I would... a weird case, though. Let's I be mean... honest. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Chris is the weird case. He knows Alice well, and Wait, okay. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Why does it got to be weird that I know a lot of these Because you know who Alice and Chains is. Why is that weird? That's I a mean, weird thing for black people to know. Why is that weird? It's, it's weird. weird, but I am impressed. Why is I that am weird? impressed, but it's weird. Basil, <laughs> Basil, Basil Chris, you wouldn't say it's not weird, but you're impressed. Well, no, <laughs> I'm in the same. I'm in the same boat as, as Basil. I'm like that is weird, but I, I I'm glad that you know. But still, why no, the only, the only, no, the only thing I find weird about it is just or not, this, this, that I'm impressed album. on is the fact that you had it down by albums. Like, okay, right. I was not expecting I was like, what that. The fuck? Like, if you were just like, yeah, I know Alice and Chains song, be like, okay, that's good. But it's just like interesting. <laughs> interesting. I, 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 mean, I, I felt I felt like Meg from Drake and Josh. I'm going, interesting. Interessante. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I just don't see how it's weird. Though. I mean, I really let like. Let it guys. Let's, let's just ignore him. All right, the Rolling okay. Stones. The most overrated, one of the most overrated groups of all time. 
for a minute, they got some hits. I just know the company. They got hits. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, you know what? Now that I, now that I actually think about it, I'm going to have dude. to go with Chris. They're not, so they're not highly overrated, but I would put them – they're in that same I'm, group as Pink Floyd as average. earlier. I'm putting them in average. I just know the magazine. Mm. <laughs> no, put them next to Pink Floyd. Hold on, hold it, on. Shout out to the uh, Illuminati. We've got to put them in the magazine for the culture. Because Mid Jagger lives so Mid Jagger lives so Mid Jagger lives so big he could fresh chance of boost. Mm-mm. Oh, I don't even want to hear that when you when you should be looking at Aerosmith and Steven, Steven Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> that freak of nature. Right, um, no, if you're gonna Pink do Lil. Illuminati, I would have thought you would have done Pink Floyd because that's literally that is true. But shout out to Illuminati. Uh, Green Day. I didn't know how old Green Day was until they were in. Uh, Green, right Green Day's been out. I know Green Day. I know who Green Day is. Wait, 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 David. I, wait, fifteen. I, I have their debut three album. Songs. Name three songs by Green Day. Oh, I can't name them because it's been a minute since I heard them. But I know who they are. Yes, yes. I do. Shoot, I can name. Listen, uh, the last time I heard Green Day, I was like a little kid, so I can't really. So when was that when American India came out? Oh four. Yeah, I was like, I think I was like six. <laughs> September in. That whole album was just. I mean, the thing is, how their debut album was in '94. Which Chris, what's the name of it? Dookie. I was six. Was it? Wait, wait. It was Dookie, right? Yes. Yeah. It was. yeah I, now, I see, was I get. That's if I had to name good. three songs, I could just name three just off that album alone. No, don't you dare put in good. It should be I, an amazing. Yeah, I'll say they're good. I, I think in a, a contested of American Idol did a, I, did a I, song I, about them. I will, I will say this. I think personally, what the Ramones did for their generation of punk, Green Day did the same in this generation. I would say that. That's my yes. personal opinion. I would agree. Yeah. Personally. Can you see, you see, you, you've seen brothers and sisters go walking around wearing Maron, um, the shirts of the Ramones. Can't even tell you three songs by them. But Green yeah, Day. But it's a cool shirt, though. That's the only reason why they buy it. But even with Green Day, it was the same even with the American Idiot. But they can actually tell you songs by them. Speaking of songs by them, is that Molly Crew? Yeah, it's Molly Crew. I'd say you should be moving Green Day up just because, in my opinion, they're higher up than the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Oh. Nah. Hmm. I, I ain't gonna say all that, but Motley Crue, though. Hmm. I mean, they're a good '80s hair band, but that's all that they were was an '80s hair band. Zipping that dope, doing that coke. Because they're almost like there's really no difference between them, White Snake, Poison. It's put in yeah. high. Put in I. Now, Megadeth put that at the bottom of average. Because if you want to talk about as far as metal, mm-hmm. like what was like a big inspiration for metal, Megadeth is one of them. I mean, is there any bigger influence on metal than Black Sabbath? Slayer. They're up there. They're up. If there's a, if there's a Mount Rushmore, Slayer would be in there. I'll say mm-hmm. that. Uh, I, I, I'll give you that. I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. Now, okay, I CCR. CCR is going amazing. CCR, yeah, CCR is amazing. Now, I'm, this is gonna be Who biased for me. This is gonna be biased for me. Again. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say oh, as, as, as a delegate of the white community, <laughs> uh, I say God tier. Because you can't when when you think of. Like that southern rock, that bayou rock. Yeah. yeah. Who, else, who else can you think of that was 60s, 70s? You know, that I did mean, the whole Vietnam era. You I, could say Linda Skinner. You could. Shut the fuck up, Chris. Mm, I'm, just say, hey, I'm just saying. Bro. You could say Linda Skinner, but what's the first one that just. Oh, CCR, easily. There you go. Whoa, well, guys. And, and, and David, by the way, if you did not know, um, I get Tina's primary, CCR wrote it first. Who so said what? With Prime Mary by Ike and Tina Turner. Um, Prime Mary, that song, CCR did the song first. Oh, I don't know that song. Yes, you, you know. Rolling by. Right, I, I 
can't, really can't tell if David is lying at this point now. No, <laughs> like, I'm serious. I'm dead ass. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. So you're just that stupid. Wait, David, do you not know Rolling by the River? Rolling! Bad Moon Rising? Bad Moon Rising? Left oh, I know Rolling. That's the no same way. song. Yeah. Just, just move on. What we got? Deep. Uh, Deep right. Purple. Deep Purple. The, um, the, the first song, and I know I'm going to sound like a generic guitar player. The first song I learned by them was Smoke on the Water. But other than yeah. That, you, hey, you do sound pretty generic. I mean, if you play if you play guitar, then yeah, I, I see where I can hey, all of these criminally. Hey, criminally. <laughs> Hmm. Now here's the thing though. Besides smoke on the water, what else does Deep Purple have though? Let's see. Oh uh, wait, wait. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, um, double. Let's see. Smoke on the water. Double Vision. Um, mm, I don't think smoke on the water was. Or uh, not smoke. I don't think uh, uh, double vision was. Oh wait, wait. No, that was foreigner. That was foreigner. Um, yeah. Jen, um, bloody hell. Um, just for that, they're going to eye because we don't know any other songs. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hear songs I can't do this. Aerosmith. 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 I don't know their music. Oh, David, I, David, David, you know Aerosmith. No, I don't. With Run DMC. Yes, you do. From, uh, what remake? I don't know. Walk, walk This Way. Dude, Jesus Christ. I don't hey. know. David, do you know who song. Run DMC are? Oh, I do, but I don't know the songs. Oh Lord, we're about to oh, do a crisscross God. DJ episode just for David. All right, um, which you can also Aerosmith, see on the Patreon every man. Thursday. Um, God, this hurts. Aerosmith trash. How much on the Patreon? How much on the Patreon, Chris? The Patreon is uh, ten dollars a month. Just ten dollars. If you want to see the DJ crisscross show, which and high school said. people want music. And that's the, that serious check is, is gonna be coming, so can't say that you don't have it. But anyways, L. Smith, I'm putting him in good. I, I wouldn't even put him nowhere near that high. I put him in average because they're an average group. If you're gonna put him outside of trash, I would say put him in I. I put him in average because they are a well-respected group. Hell, they've been around since what? Since what? Seventies? Yeah, but so how Trump. long they've been around? But it's like Trump oh. has been around for what, that wait, long Tom, too. Crazy, what'd you say? It's just oh, they're not a good group like that. They only have like three songs. I, mean, I wouldn't say they got three songs, but they have three songs. I mean, I, I mean everybody I mean everybody knows Walt this way. Everybody knows everybody knows Walt this way. Everybody knows Dream On. Everybody knows what's another what's another song that everybody would know? Other the than one from two. Armageddon. Angel. Angel. Or or do I want to miss a thing? Who are y'all talking no, about? Oh, I I miss a thing. Yeah, see, that's it's shit like that that makes me want to put it in trash. <laughs> Who are y'all talking about? Aerosmith. The only oh. the only good thing to come out of any of those band members was Liv Tyler. That's it. That's true. Yeah. Steve Steven's daughter. That's it. Yeah. She was in she was in that music video too, but anyways. Death Well, Lester. she was in the hey. movie, that's why. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely gets so much respect because my man was drumming with one arm. Yeah, literally, because like his the story with that is crazy because like he was in like a um, I think he was like in a warehouse and I think like right around like when he was about to leave, some crazy incident happened. Dude lost his arm, but ended up playing even better with one arm. That's a crazy thing, man. Wait, He's you like see a probably, warehouse? I don't know. I mean, I know. I mean, I know it was Tony Iommi from a Black Sabbath who had the shit with his fingertips, but that's not, that's coming up later on. But um, oh, he lost Def his Lever, from I a can, car crash. Maybe it was. I don't know. Def Lever, I can only name literally two songs: "Portsmouth Sugar on Me" and "Photograph." It's, it's too cultured. <laughs> he over here mixing up. Stories. "Photograph" is a good song. <laughs> hey, it is. Yeah, no, he was in a car crash uh, I'm, I'm driving his Corvette. I, I'm putting my died. Yeah. No. They had hits. They were still average. Average. I'm on the average I would say. with Aerosmith. Also, good example of why uh, our our idea of a sports car should never be on British roads. 
I've seen their roads. There's no way you can fit a Corvette on that thing and not crash into something. That's true. All right, Iron Maiden. Ooh. Ooh. You talk about now. Now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Bruce Dickerson. If we're talking about like a if we're talking about a a, a Mount Rushmore for vocalists, he's up there. He's up there. He's up there. Criminally underrated. And yeah, I'll put I'll put them in good. I'll put them in good. Yeah. Like that was that was the one of the like top five groups or artists you were listening to during the Yes, yeah, like and his thing like they're like it's 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 a pop core, it's a pop core like phenomenon. I mean like I still see people walk around Iron Man um Iron Man shirts still to this day. Mm-hmm. Not just because of not just because of where I'm at, but still. Speaking of, but still, no, it's bon definitely jo- um, because of where you're at. Now, bon it, it, it is Chris. You know, like, bon Jovi, most definitely. Bon Jovi should go in amazing. Bon Jovi no. got a lot of hits. I say I average. Know, I don't know. About bottom, bottom, bottom of amazing. Bottom, bottom of amazing. I say I top s- average. I say good. I say of good. I say middle good. God's here. No, he's not. Red Red Hot Chili Hot. Oh, yeah, that's God's here. Red Hot Chili Peppers should be God's here. Yes. I, I'm putting that in God's here. Above CC. I don't know who that is. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Are you serious? David. David. No, David. Wait, David is definitely didn't like they do, wait, 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 wait. Didn't they do a halftime show? Yes. Yes. You know, who did they have? Actually, they were part of two. Oh, no. Technically, they were part of two. Wait, so oh, wait, they were just part of one. If, they were if, for if, sure if, part if, of one. I remember wait, one. Then, and here's a fun fact. That hot touch show with Bruno Mars. Lee Obley oh, admitted, it was with Bruno Mars. That's on him. Okay. See, see, here's the funny thing. With that hot touch show, Lee Obley admitted that their guitars were not plugged in. That was all pre, um, pre-recorded. That's every Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally every Super Bowl halftime show was pre-recorded. Yeah, well, because of that whole Beyonce well, incident. Well, there had to be. Well, try, well, try saying that in 2004, but we ain't going to talk about that. Definitely got here. That was that was that was that was before Beyonce, Chris. Anyway, Van Halen. Rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. Mm. I say amazing. Amazing. They're not God tier. I put them amazing right there. Yeah, right there, right there is good. Right there, that that, that that's good enough. Yeah, they're better than Bon Jovi, in my idea. Yeah. Okay. I'll go yeah, there. Bon Jovi. Oh, it don't matter. They're both in amazing. All right, Lincoln Park. Ooh, oh man, amazing. David, David. Yes, you know Lincoln Park. Before you say something. Yeah, no, I know Lincoln Park. Thank God he's not lying on oh, that. Thank one. God. About, if you can't name three hits off a of hybrid theory, then I'll, I'll just don't I know. mean, I, I I can't name that, but I know who Lincoln Park is. Okay, so you prefer hybrid theory, Chris? I pre- I prefer personally everything. See, like the new stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I I got a little bit of emotion when when Chester died. I ain't gonna lie. That shit just I came out fucking nowhere. I was like, what the hell? But everything <laughs> after, hey, hey, if y'all wanna laugh, hey, y'all go ahead. I don't care. Everything. No, I'm after, after, That's the how I know how to think I'm part. Listen, after um the catalyst, I didn't listen as much. But everything before that was like great. But hybrid theory, as far as albums, that's. That's the that's the one I think about personally. He tried to listen to everything after that album, but he tried so hard. Listen, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Good, good, good. Anyway, uh, <laughs> now me, the only now reason how I know that, put it in amazing. Only reason how I know amazing. that is because around that time in my life, I was living in the, I want to say outside of Lansing in like a bath the bath area. Uh huh. Yeah, I was what? the only black person there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the so, whole life story right now. Yeah, no. that's that's how I know Lincoln Park because that's all they play. They play Lincoln Park and um, I want to say Aerosmith, Evanescence. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Paramore. Yeah, Paramore. Yeah, yeah Paramore. Okay. Now, see, I should say you should move Lincoln Park up to amazing. It could be towards uh, the back end of it. I, I I'll put I'll put them right with their ride. Now, it, now, as far I, I, as my I'm favorite album, though, my favorite album would be Metamora. 
That was good. I ain't go front. Yeah. Now Leonard but Skinner's. I I'll, I'll put him. I put him right there where they're right. I think that's good enough. Leonard, bloody Skinner. I was gonna say Sweet Home Alabama, Freebird. I every chance I've ever been at somebody you got, got free. You got, you got simple man. Who was that? You know, yeah, I, I'm just not going to end. Uh, no, first, just, of anyway. all, first of all, Simple Man is their best song to me, first of all. I, I like to agree with you on this one, Chris. I like to agree with you on that one. And second, well, their second best song is Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home yeah. Alabama is the one that everybody knows. Free Bird is trash. But like okay. Chris says, anytime you get someone with a guitar, it's play Free, Free Bird. Bird. Yeah. Every time. I don't know. Time. I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know who that is. Sweet home Alabama. I, no, I know that one. But it's uh, Freebird. I know what Freebird is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Freebird is. Because I didn't grow up in Brooklyn, Michigan. So, uh, let me Brooklyn, Michigan? Wait, what? Damn, Chris, <laughs> the fact you called out a place I didn't think you would have known about. Good and, job. And, and search shovel emoji right here. Uh, yeah. Good job, Chris. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the locate? <laughs> I need to it's, know. It's literally in, it's literally <laughs> by your middle finger knuckle. Really? No, it's no. Really? Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. Wow. Be, be sure to say Brooklyn's up here. No, it's like hey, it's like right here. What you mean? No, it's like right down. Yes, it is. Hold on. It's like right about here. You're doing this. You're doing this. Okay. This First is, off, this Basil, this is where you're from, Ohio. Do it correctly. <laughs> Dude, I know I what think, you're talking about. I'm about, I'm about to say, Chris, this I think we need to get it like this. Chris, Chris, I think we need to get Marcel to tell us where on um, where Brooklyn, Michigan is. Anyway, uh, we're moving. Yes. We're, moving to, we're moving to Black Sabbath. Yes. God. Chris, no. Yeah. Why did you now? Why did you put Leonard Skinner in good though? Because that's that's where they need to be. That's where they belong. They're no, not it's crazy. not. They didn't do. They didn't do enough shit. That's true. Let's put them in average. They died after what? <laughs> one, maybe two albums. Do like three out of like the like three of their main guys died in the freaking plane crash anyway. They so. all died in it. Oh, oh, oh! No, that makes it worse. All their main. Yeah. Black Sabbath, God tier. I want to say God tier. I would say amazing. I would say amazing. Just know the name. <laughs> also, Leonard Skinner's you know name what? Hey, 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 Basil, Basil, we're, we're going to... Shout, shout out to the Illuminati. I know, I know. <laughs> we're we're going to have we're gonna have disagreements with the placement of Black Sabbath and all that. Just, Let's see. Do we have? Is that System of a Down? It is System of a Down. Now, as far as metal goes, I'd rather listen to System of a Down than Black Sabbath. You know, they not, not not everything I like to listen to has to be fifty years old. You know, mm. there's. A, I was gonna put them in. Oh, you gotta you know feel what, young somehow. You, you know, Chris, you know, Chris, you did it for me. I was gonna put them in trash anyway. <laughs> Chris, they even hear me. <laughs> what? We uh, Basil was like. Yeah, I don't always listen to 50 year old music. I was like, you gotta feel young somehow. <laughs> My God. You uh um, you you've <laughs> misplaced system of a down. No, I put him in the right spot. No, no, I, no. Uh, next, I, he, we're he, do, next we're gonna do the kinks. The also, one also, of the most criminal also I yeah. I, I think what, they're what's criminal. What's wrong I, with what, what's wrong with System of Down? I, I think I think the Kinks are are criminally underrated personally. They are underrated. Because they didn't have a lot of hits. Um, they did have hits, though. I'm not going <laughs> to deny that. This, this is right here. <laughs> I'm still stuck on. Uh, if you went to a Kinks King. concert, you'd only wait for two songs, and that's it. And what might that be? Oh, wise one. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter what two songs it is. You really gotta, I mean, That's probably the first one they're going to sing. Lowest I mean, will be their interlude between the first and second acts, and no, no one really cares. I mean, I'm curious to see what you're going to say, Pond. I mean, that's all. Just that's a question. Oh, Chris, what would you say is your two uh, King songs? You still going to say the same ones? Wait, 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 wait. Me, me, or me? Like you talk, you talk about Bird, me on Basil. Bird. I already said mine. Dude, dude, dude. Well, obviously, everybody knows you really got me. Everybody knows that one. They really got but I would you. say. I would say that their best song is Waterloo Sunset. That's their best song. Mm. Their second best will be Lola. That's uh, that's their first, I say. Yeah, I feel like that that white lady with the math around her. 
Right, me too. Bro. <laughs> Guns and Roses. Uh, oh, everyone's amazing. crazy about them. Oh, amazing. I just know the name. No, not amazing. I'll say they're good above the Eagles. Not not about the Eagles. Above Lincoln Park. I'd say average. No. Oh, oh, don't 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 do respect the partner. Their first album broke records, bro. What you mean? Literally. Yeah, but the best, the only good thing out of Guns N' Roses is Slash. Whereas Lincoln Park, though, Whoa. it is. You think Axl Rose is better than Slash as far as? No, absolutely, absolutely not. But he's still part of it. He's still a good part of right, like, oh, Guns right. N' Roses. Right, like so. Brian Scala, Brian's got rings from being a part of winning teams. Does that make him any good? Yes, he's the goat. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Oh my god! God damn it! (laughs) Yeah, you can't deny it. You you can't. You can't shock yourself. (laughs) Now we have the Foo Fighters next, which I don't amazing music from them. I don't know any music either. You do, you do know songs. Yeah, yeah, no, Basil, I, Basil, I just Basil, know the name. You know, I, I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I was gonna take your word for it and put it in amazing. They're, 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 they really are an amazing group, personally. Nah, although, although I have, no, no, I have to say no. Put it back in amazing. Don't you dare, Chris. <laughs> nah, fam, they're on a Saturday Night Live. They need viewers. <laughs> That's why. No, you know they why they go, what? they go? They go wherever. They're like, hey, we want to hear. He's like, all right, we'll go. We got, we got time for you in our schedule. I'm not gonna lie, this is just vibe, but I, I kind of wish the Black Keys was on this list. I kind of do, but that's just me. They're over, they're, they're, they're not even worthy of this list. The Black Keys? They got Rush. I, really like, mm. I, 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 I mean, that, that's, that's just me. That's just me, y'all. Rush has one of the best bass lines in. Oh, Mr. they do. Ever. Yeah. Okay, are we talking. Shit, what's the name of the song? I, I bloody know I should know. He's probably thinking of Tom Sawyer. No. I mean, it's not, it's not that one, but it's now, Or are you talking about the drum? Are you talking about the drum intro with YYZ? Yeah, I think about YYZ. Yeah, that, that's the one I was thinking. Yeah, about. I didn't get the name. No one, no one can, no one can drum like Neil Peart. Yeah. I <laughs> mean, I was set. Well, no. Um, yeah, I, okay. I would have Neil Peart as my drummer any day. Not even um I'm trying not to mix up names from Led Zeppelin between wait, was it John Bottom? Wait, I'm thinking about somebody else. Yeah, oh, I think shit. Somebody else. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting drummers mixed up, but anyways. The anyway, Soundgarden. Sound Garden. Sound Garden. Cool. Okay, personally, I'm Good. putting them in amazing. I don't even know the sound. After I'm no, putting them in. <laughs> you do know who Soundgarden is. He, he, you know, it I'm don't, looking don't it up worry. right now. I'm fact checking. Hold up. Don't even who worry. Is, don't who who is Soundgarden? I can. No, I don't know any songs. When I, when, when, personally, when it comes to grunge, when it comes to like Soundgarden, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, and Alice in Chains, I like all of them equally. Well, I, I like all of them to an extent, but Soundgarden, that's head above the rest for everybody for me. Who are they? I don't, I don't know any songs from them. You don't know Black Hole Sun. Black Black Hole Sun fell on Black Days. This is I'm just going all through on my end, like all my shit right now. I don't know none of those songs. Black Hole Sun, Super Unknown, New Damage, Jesus Christ Pose. I said they're good. Uh, next one. New Damage. I never heard them. Okay. The Beatles. The Beatles. Okay. I know who they are. Do you? Do you, David? Do you know who the Beatles are? David, you know. Yes, I do. Dave, you don't even know three songs by them. Stop. Don't cap. Don't be capping. Name, name At least three I know me- songs by them. Name yeah. three <laughs> band <laughs> members. Name three band members. Oh, my God. You can't get this. No, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. David, name five band mm-hmm. members from the Beatles. I don't know the five. <laughs> <laughs> I only know three. No, 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 no. Ah! Two person is four. four. It was four. As I said, three of Oh, However, I, I guess you could count as Yoko Ono as the wait, 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 All right, that's oh, Isn't she the reason why they disbanded? That's been another edition of the uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, The Beatles. No, it was, they, she wasn't the reason. They they wanted yeah. too much money for each other and they were all big. They, they, they really did. Yeah. 
Paul you. McCartney pulled a uh, David Ruffin. I'm the one making the records. Uh, <laughs> no, I heard, I heard it was John Lennon that fucked it all up. No, John Lennon was just too self righteous. Yeah. And then you got That's Ringo, it. and then you got George Harrison. They're Ringo like, was just making the beat, bro. He was just back there tapping away. Like, come mm-hmm. on, Ringo. Even after the Beatles, and he's he still, still doing he was, it. Yeah, he was still going like <laughs> he's still back. Oh, he's still going at with it. Three too. drums, like how do you how do you make hit records with three drums? He but, finds a way. He but he did. It. I mean, when a car George did. Simple. <laughs> George George did write my favorite Beatles song while my guitar Jelly Weeps. Right. I'll give him that. But you know, the Beatles are overrated. They are. They're but they're amazing. They I are overrated. That. However, there are a lot of people's influences. So, hell that you say that's that's half, them so good. Or... Pretty much every band, majority of them, were, were heavily influenced by the Beatles. That's why we have to put. Uh, really, in the you're gonna say the Who influenced the Beatles? No, I said majority of them. Majority. <sighs> Actually, no. The Beatles. The Queen goes above the Beatles because I I like Queen better than the Beatles. Low if you go below Red Hot Chili Peppers, no, just put low, just put just put Beatles at the end of God's Tier. Low, low key, I'll say okay. this: they're better than CCR. Okay, I'm, I'm just low key. I low key. If it was a versus battle between Queen and the Beatles, that's not. Fair. I think Queen may get that one. That's not fair. Wait, who? That's not a good matchup, fam. That's not a good matchup. No, that's not a good matchup. So who would you say? It, so who would you say would go against the Beatles, the Beatles in the versus battle? The Beatles. Who go against the Beatles? Who would go against it's, the Beatles? Eh, I guess. All right, what? British Invasion Beatles versus post uh, Sgt. Pepper's Beatles. That's the whole. Oh, low Br- key. British low Invasion key. would win because. Yeah, just, hard. Just, just hard day. It's not alone. That is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hard day. It's not alone. It took more for 50 years to figure out that damn guitar chord, and I just figured it out two weeks ago. All right. Tool. Tool. Mm. Uh, tool is a tool. Put it down there. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Tom, your, I'm your, sorry. Tr- your trash Basil, section Basil, is Basil. trash. Basil. I don't I know who that is. My trash section goes with my skin complexion, okay? <laughs> I don't know who Tool is, okay? Well, I don't know who what? that is either, Phil. Oh, <laughs> David, right here. Put it right here, baby. <laughs> well, you know what? You know, here we go. You know, guess what, Chris? You got somebody with your skin complexion who knows who Tool is. Yeah. Okay. And okay. someone knows this about doubts. So I thought this was the whole point. Like I'm supposed to give my but knowledge guys, on it. Guys, this is this is the catch. This is the crisscross corner to the list. Exactly. Uh, I don't know. Well, this what? is not a great debaters. I just want to get y'all your best the best advice from the from the white people and Chris. Yeah, and you're apparently ignoring it. I'm not ignoring it. I'm putting You it put in system it down in tool and trash. What's what what's yeah. tool's best song? Ooh. Personally, personally, it doesn't matter but, what Tool's uh, best song is. <laughs> now, Chris, Chris, would you say would you say Sober is their best song or no? No, it's a great song, but not their best. Which one? Lateralis. You're putting all the black listeners to sleep. All right, The Doors. God's here. God's here. Would you put it in God's here though? Yes. yes. I'm debating if I want to put it in God or Amazing. No, they, no, they are God tier. That's God tier for me. Why? Why would you put in God tier, Chris? Oh my God! Why, wait, why would I put in God tier? Yeah, why would you put in God tier? Jim Morrison's lyrics, the fact that they—if you can get a band over with the bloody, with the freaking organ, and you still sound as dark as heavy as like some of the other crafts out here, you're doing something right. Jim Morrison's lyrics and songwriting, along with Robbie Krieger's guitar, and what was it? Ray Manzarek on organ. I can't remember who the drummer was. I can't remember that. John Everything, Densmore. Thank you, John. Thank you, baby. Everything just worked. Everything just clicked. If they you go were... back and listen, you, their hits is like some of the most, like that's, if you want to listen to psychedelic rock outside of Hendrix, that's who you want to listen to. Because I can only name like two songs by the Velvet Underground, to be honest with you. Their shit is amazing. It's amazing. And just to give you an idea, okay, a lot of times when it comes to that whole psychedelic rock from the 60s and 70s, most of the time you can't even fully comprehend or even 
under you know get what's even being said. Just like Chris said, besides Jimi Hendrix, the Doors were the only other Amazing. group that you could honestly understand what's being said. It'll be trippy and all that, but at least you know what's still being said and everything like that. So basically, and, so basically, they're the uh, the baby and Meg Thee Stallion of today, <laughs> back back then. What? No. <laughs> yeah, because you can't understand nothing that the baby be saying. You don't no, understand what they be saying. Well, uh, the establishment okay. doesn't understand it, but the kids like it. That's what you're saying. Oh, no, hey, no, that, no, that's that's exactly hey, against hey, my argument. Hey, See, hey. what you're saying is like the '60s and '70s version of Meg Thee Stallion and Baby would be like. Grateful Dead. Who would also be the Doors? I can, I can no. go with that. I, the I can Doors, with that. the Doors are. You can clearly understand everything. They're they're like proto Phil Collins, if that makes any sense. And Genesis. Ooh. You know what Phil Collins is, David. David, you know what Phil Collins is. Be quiet. No, I you don't. Oh my god. Yeah. Have you seen Tarzan? Which one? The soundtrack, the cartoon. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You know what I, I like? I, I, you, like I, you've I, seen the 1930s Tarzan? Shut the I, fuck up! I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know <laughs> Wait, it was a 1930s one? Well, you're you, over here like which I mean, one? I thought they did a live action one. Yeah, yeah back in the 30s. Jesus. No, 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 like a, a recent live action one. Yeah, they, 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 they did. They, they did them. They did. Thank you. They I know did. what I'm talking about. It was trash. <laughs> Disney, what the fuck are you doing? I like Clayton's death from the cartoon better. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, my my thing for the doors is for the time that they were that they came out and for the for the songs, how deep it was, I'm putting them in God tier personally. God tier. I'm putting them in amazing because they're not God tier in my in my opinion. Well, L- listen, uh, listen uh, to uh, some uh, songs. I, but hey, I would, hey Basil, I Basil, 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 I've listened to the Doors. I know who the Doors are. I know a lot of their hits. I don't think they're God tier. Well, well, I listen hey, to them hey, as I would listen to Fleetwood Mac, Queen, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Beatles, and CCR. Yes. Do I think well, they Mike, drop the yeah. mic, Chris. Drop hey, the mic, Chris. Hey, hey, drop hey, it. Hey, you don't even have a mic. Anyway. Yes, I do. It's right here. <laughs> I was talking to David. I was talking to David. But anyways, Chris, hey, I respect that. I just dropped mine. Now what? <laughs> okay, David. I don't know who they are. Person. Arctic hey. monkeys. Arctic monkeys. I. Who, who is I, that? I, I, got, I, got, I got another. Well, Arctic monkeys are a really good group. However, yeah, I think he's a, average. I haven't listened to them enough to really give like a full like. Okay, I, yes. Cool, Wait, a, a, a band that Chris doesn't listen to. Wait, let me let me repeat myself. I said I have not listened to their music enough to tell you accurately, okay, they belong wherever. I, I will say this. There Our are like the, they're <laughs> kind of in a way like the same sort I of group as like the Who and everything like that of the more contemporary generation. Okay. And you know how you were saying how you're surprised that the Black Keys wasn't on this list earlier? They're in that same category. They're in the same category. And they're essentially, as far as tier, as far as rankings go, like on the charts, the Arctic Monkeys got their spot. That's why. Yeah. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. No, no. You want to know who introduced me to the Arctic Monkeys? Was it the next? I vice principal from my high school. What? Really? Yeah, he was like, you know, there's an artist called Actually Monkeys. So I was like, no, who is this? And he told me a song. I was like, okay, these guys are pretty cool. I'm what, so, what song was it? I am shocked. Um, I forgot what it was. Because I'm curious. Let me see. Arch- I'm still can't get over to it being a track. I, I'm putting them in. I'm putting them in amazing, personally. I, I still can get Ar- Ar- But that's just me. But, or, but that's or, and putting the doors in amazing. I'm putting the doors. For me, the doors would be in God tier. Tool would be in amazing. Arctic Monkeys. But that's, I would say, but that's, but that's me personally. That's just me. Tool would go in good, and System of Down would also go in good. But it would not be in this. It would not be higher than Tool. 
All right, this is speaking of Pantera. Pantera? Uh, Pantera. Ooh. I don't know who that is. It's a it's a ninety. What a surprise! What a surprise, David. What? Okay, hold up. Okay, hold up. Time out. Time out. Time out. Now you're just fucking with us here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. So I'm not. no, they, we're talking they, about they, Chris. They, we're talking about Chris. Oh, hey, hey, Basil and Chris. Uh, I I don't listen to Pantera. However, I would like to I would like to, to learn about Pantera from Basil, not Chris. Go ahead, Basil. Dang, that's tough. Before I shall start, <laughs> hey, let me, me introduce me Chris Bird for some introduction. Oh, of course, he's gonna go for water. Yeah. Okay, so Pantera. They are kind of the same sort of thing as Tool, where during the nineties, if you needed essentially a good, like heavy like not super heavy where it's like a death metal but almost like a good like workout like jam or just something to like do like a heavy run to oh of course you're going to sleep you're that bored <laughs> all right let's put it this way when you're t- just to introduce you Pan- to pantera listen to the song walk they'll give you a good <sighs> idea of what pantera is about okay, and we're gonna walk on to the next group metal oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah i want to hear i want to hear chris's intake on pantera oh, Personally, um, my favorite song is um, oh, is Hey, right. fuck. Anyways, while well, 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 anyways, <laughs> tens and my tens is my favorite song by them, <laughs> and I know that from the first Dragon Ball Z Broly movie. My oh, that was what was in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I know a little bit about. No, 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 little, no, no, little, little, stop, little, stop, 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 little, stop, 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 a little, little. that is anyway. a little, that's a very little, oh. what are you talking and, about? <laughs> anyways, um, walk <laughs> is like my, walk is my third favorite and I'm broken would be second for me, but that's me on that one. And is that Metallica? That is Metallica. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll put him in good. I'll take that. Everybody still still to this day shits on Saint Anger, but over time, it's kind of good. Muse is I. Ooh, Genesis. All right, Gen. Okay, all right, Dave. All right, David. We already know what you're gonna say, so you don't have to say anything. Genesis. They, I would say. I think my teacher. My teacher. I would say Genesis. I would put Genesis ahead of Rush. Mm, no, their music is way more polished than Van Halen, so I put him above Van Halen. Cause like, like no, fam, Peter, that's, that's Peter Gabriel. No, fam, we ain't Peter, doing that. We put him up here. Peter, oh, I don't know. Okay, I'll I'll take that. Peter Gabriel, um, and Phil Collins. One more, what, what, what more is there to say? What more is there to say? Misunderstand. Follow you, follow yep. me. Come on. Oh, for that, we can put them Ten. next to the doors. Ten. Next to the doors. You know what? I, w- I would agree with that. I like okay, that. Okay, okay. I think, yeah, tonight, 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 what else? Um, so much. Genesis. I Can't Dance, The Cinema Show, Mama. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, I just want to put this on the record. If you go back to the recording, <laughs> um, they didn't say any songs for the doors. So, you want, right, to say, you want me to say you want me to some no. songs for the doors? No. <laughs> we had to, you know, we had to spend the whole time just trying to argue, and you didn't even give the option of hey, name. Hey, Basil, Basil, there's a method between my madness. Okay, I'm a very psychological person. <laughs> listen, listen, Basil. When he says there is no argument, that's David. your chance to shine. David, 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 like, stop. Damn. David, David, stop capping, bro. Anyways, the doors just the first album alone. Shit, I mean, I, all right. The Ramones. Yeah. We're gonna do the Ramones. Uh, New York City's finest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> average. Mm-hmm. Average. Yeah, that's about average. right. I say that. I. I, I no, I there, no. There is no way. There is no way you can say that Leonard Skinner is higher than the Ramones. Fuck that. Well, dude, like, I mean, look at it. Look at. It. Look, we, you could oh, say yeah. that because you know. Leonard no, Skinner, you yeah. can't. Let's put this one. The Ramones barely sold out the uh, Detroit Roller Reels down the street. Damn. And you know I'm not lying. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I, yo. I'm not gonna lie. Like I low key watched the Simpsons episode when the Ramones was on there like two nights ago. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And the Ramones made they, uh, the cure. <laughs> literally, cure two good. songs come to my mind: "Just Like Heaven" and "Friday." I wait. Okay, "Just Like Heaven," "Friday." I'm in love. And shit, what's up? I said I ever. You say it to song. Uh, there's so also. Uh, you, said, you didn't say love song. Yeah, love song. Damn. Dang. Shit. No. That's, a, that's actually the first one that comes to my mind is love song. Then Friday I'm in love. I say there. Nah, I I'm gonna be biased and go back to the door for this one. I would say everybody's gonna know say like my fire, but my personal favorite by them would be L.A. Woman or This Is the End. Or all right, we're gonna do um, Blink, uh, Blink 182. Speaking of Los Angeles bands. Uh, they're trash. I'm putting them trash. Trash? What? You yes. a ho ho for that? I don't like them. I'll be honest. I don't. I gave them. Why? Time. Why don't you like them? Because Is because the girl something? he liked broke up with him over a Blink 182 song. I don't know. No. Absolutely not. That's All the, the small things. You asshole. Da, da. Hey. It's just like it just sounds like. It's just some about it. I just can't vibe with it. I just can't rock with this shit. You know, it's, that, that it's essentially '90s punk. In a yeah, way. and when I think about '90s punk, I think about Green Day. I don't think about Blink One Eighty Two. I don't even think they're '90s punk. I think they're late '90s, early 2000s. No, they're nine. Well, no, they're '90s. I would say early 2000s. That was when they were big. I mean, got, never no. really like, took golf. I mean, Dookie came out in '94. Yeah, I'm talking about I mean, Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, oh, so my, my bad, my but bad. like their first big hit was "Damn It" in '97. Yeah, they were they 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 their the number one pop hit was in 1999 to 2000. All the small things, you can go back and look at the record. And it's literally, about, it's it's literally about Billboard. It's yeah, literally. Billboard. I ain't talking about no no rock charts. This is yeah, the rock charts. They were listening to rap. <laughs> So yeah. they're listening to boy bands. Let's be honest. Yeah, boy, boy bands. Everybody. You're listening. Yeah. You're listening to Backstreet Boys. You're listening to TLC. They're they're listening to listening to All right. Hey, 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 look, hey, look. Here's the thing. I was that kid, you know, growing up. Where <laughs> I would listen to Michael Jackson one day and Johnny Cash another day, and then NWA one day, and then Soundgarden another. I was that kid. That was me. Right, you guys can listen to the his story on This Is Chris Bird on a channel that does not exist yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, because people can bloody, <laughs> yeah, because people can bloody call me or text me or what have you. Now, if we're talking about all right, the police, we're putting that in amazing. No, now here now you know how you had your where you said blink 82 you didn't like? If you said if you did respect the police right now, I don't, don't, don't don't I do don't. It. I don't, don't do really it. care for the police. Okay. Why? Well, why don't you care about the police, Basil? I, I need to hear uh, this. For, for the other culture. Let's go. I, I need to hear this. Well, no. Trust me. There's gonna be like. Wait, yeah, I need to hear from the other culture too. It, trust me. If what, like, what my years? mom and uncle heard this, it would be upset. Um. So. <laughs> do, do your work wisely. I know. I'm trying to figure out the best way to say it. Ain't no coming back. Were you from you blood? Know, <laughs> oh, trust me, I would have handled that situation a hell of a lot better than you would have. Um, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You would have get, you got, they wouldn't even ask you. They'd be like, nigga, get off the side of the west side, bitch. Low key, low key, dude, but man. I would just be like, huh? But <laughs> so, I gotta ask you, when you think of the police, what's the first song you think of? Me personally? Yeah. Scrawny City 2. You fruit. Not what, not what I was expecting, but okay. Message in a bottle, second. No, oh, fam. Secret listen to you was a basic. Here, here's here's why. My dad got my dad introduced me to the police. Okay, I used to remember literally like you know like those like these two CDs. I can't. Remember, I, I don't know if I even still have them or what have you. But like that was like the first one that was on. Then I listened. And I was like, oh shit, this is dope. And then like later on, that's why I heard you no know, rock sand and message in a bottle. I was at every break you take, obviously. There it you took go. me a little bit. 
it took me a little bit to realize that, oh, wait, they did every breath you take. And then I was like, oh, shit, that's dope. Oh, so, man, it's every little thing she does is bad. Hey, I'm, hey, he had, what was the first song that I yeah. thought about? I don't, I don't care what the first song was. The best song is everything little thing she does is magic. Then it's every breath you take, the message in the bottle. Okay, now, I mean, I mean, every every little step you take, I mean, yeah, that's that's fire. I mean, they got a whole bunch of fire shit. That's they're just amazing. I want to guide to you regardless. Hold on, man. Now, and no. thank you, thank you. yes. Sting that's why is not that Sting is not that big of a deal. Hold up, hold up. That's why I call him Sting because he stings you. Uh. He did. He gave the Scorp- the Scorpion death drop. I know wrong <laughs> Sting, but yeah, yeah, wrong I was gonna say. Yeah, that's the wrong Sting, Chris. <laughs> It, it, it was I dark. would prefer that sting over this sting. I'm confused. It was it, wrestling. Gee, you've been, you've been talking about wrestling. You've been through the whole episode. David, if this was Pokemon, every move you would make would say, David is confused. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It would not say David is confused. It would say, oh David is attacking. And then David misses, but yet he's going to attack each time. No, it's so always going to be David is confused, <laughs> and it's always going to say David's confused, and then three quarters of the time it's going to be David hit himself in confusion. No, yo, yeah, why, why are you so mean? <laughs> Wait, you're talking about people being me? <laughs> yeah, it's after eleven. I just like I just I'm just talking right now. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna say. The world has seen what you guys do to Chris and Marcel. And I don't deserve it. I literally don't deserve it. And you. At um, times, um, Basil. Chris, Chris, this oh, is even... a five-part roast. It's a five-part roast. So we got three more. David, <laughs> I don't even need you guys to roast me. I, I roast myself plenty of times. That is true. But anyways. I already yeah. know my life is a this, enough of a joke. There's an, there. an episode that shows that, hey, yes, Black Falls like myself, I do listen to rock music. Yes, all black people do listen to all music, and all music is great. Okay, I'm gonna put that no. out. No, I listen to rock music as well. Don't say all. Uh, don't say all. Uh, uh. How many of you actually uh. listen to jazz? I'm gonna. Now you just said all I music. Listen to jazz. I listen to jazz. I listen. I listen to every day for work. Then why it's was it's that, it's very Why relaxing. was it when we were talking about albums then, like months ago, that you're like Miles Davis? I'm like. Yeah, Miles Davis. You're like, you that out? No, yeah, no. you did. I, I, I didn't know David who said that. I know Miles Davis is. Who doesn't know? I didn't know, I didn't know David who said that. No, because David's like, who's that? Precisely. If it wasn't Chris, then it would have been Mark. No one then. wants to listen to an album for fun. Like, what the fuck? That's something, that's, just, that's something that just comes on the radio. You'd be like, okay, all right. I would listen to Miles Davis anytime. That. Yeah, my business. But, anyway. but then again, I, you also don't care that much about <laughs> nature girls either. Hey, I no. hey, wait, hold up, hold up. That's been another edition of Crisscross <laughs> Corner with the Crisscross tier list. Please like, share, and subscribe on YouTube on the Crisscross Studios on YouTube. Um, follow me on Crisscross Corner on Instagram and leave a five star rating on Apple Podcasts. This has been Chris, Christopher Bird, Basil Lowe, and David. I don't know what it is, nor they on the tier list. <laughs> See y'all next time. Be safe. <laughs> Social distance. Be nice to each other. Mm-hmm.